Hi everybody, happy Wednesday, happy new release day. Coming at you with the brand new 21-22 Panini Mosaic Basketball Hobby Edition. Six box, half case, picker team number three. Odd numbers generally mean they're from a fresh case. Big thanks to this group for knocking this out. Knocked out the team random late at night, got this done, appreciate it. If you got a little rooftop next to your name like Gilo, it means you won that spot in the filler. Owen, you ended up with last spot mojo with the Knicks. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time, so they say. Here's the fresh case of mosaic. case here. Alright. And we've got got six boxes on the right side, six boxes on the left side. Alright, you can see the box on the top camera as well. We're gonna roll the die. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do the right side. This side we will save for break four. So we'll put four on the side of the boxes right there. So you know so you know they're all from the same case. break that tomorrow. All right. So we've only done one case today, but we found two stained glasses, one translucent translucence insert, but no rookie eruption. Now they say that it's look for ultra rare parallels. So So let's just look out for those among others. All right, let's, uh, while we're op ripping open some packs, let's whip around the league a little bit. Magic dropped 46 points on the Pacers in the first quarter. They, they beat the Pacers 126-120. Sixers beat the Nets 137-133. Wizards beat the Rockets 108-103. Bucks took care of the Nuggets 107-99. Tim Rules beat the Pelicans 111 to 102. Hawks beat the Thunder 132, 137 to 132. Thunder were making a little bit of a comeback in the fourth quarter, but was not enough. Uh, Warriors edged out the Grizzlies by two points, 122 to 120. Wow, Dilo was. I, I I realized what you meant. Dame went off for 60 points. Beat the Jazz 134 to 124. They had a 47 point second quarter, the Trailblazers did, after starting their first quarter with 19 points. Raptors beat the Kings 113 to 95. And my Lakers, Anthony Davis back. My Lakers beat the Spurs 113 to 104. Um, good to have Anthony Davis back. He played 26 minutes. 21 points, 12 rebounds, one assist, one steal, four blocks. Hachimura made his made his debut, played 22 minutes, got 12 points, six rebounds and assists, a steal, plus 17 on the plus minus. That was the best in the game. Next closest was Dennis Schroeder at plus 15. So I like that. I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of those kind of numbers from Hachimura. I don't know if this makes the Lakers, this doesn't make the Lakers a championship team, but hey, who knows? As long as Anthony Davis is, if he can stay healthy, man, then anything is possible. Might even, my Lakers might make an even, might even make another move or two to improve the team. I could still use like a bona fide three-point shooter. 
like this guy maybe. <laughs> Buddy healed 16 out of 25. I wonder if that long rumored trade actually happens. But that might involve this guy, but I think, I think people like that guy now. I have not seen um, one of our local sports talk radio guys. So here's a national pride, Evan Mobley. That's for Gabe. It's for G-Lo. It's an insert right there. Buddy Heel to 25. Chris with the Pacers. Chris Goad. One of our one of the Lakers radio announcers are uh, is uh, does a talk show sports talk. He's been around the sports talk radio industry for a long time. He says he hasn't, and I've noticed this too. He hasn't seen that kind of turnaround from from a player the way the fans treat the player. You know what I mean? Here's NBA debut Cade Cunningham. Pistons. That's going to be for Sean Maddock. We're like. He was booed. Westbrook was booed. People were yelling him not to shoot. There would be audible gasps, you know, when, when he would pull up for a jumper, groans, the whole, the whole deal. All right? But coming off the bench, completely different attitude, you know, it's just, you know, he's still Westbrook, but he's, he's a lot more dialed in as a player, as a defender. Here's Jalen Suggs Silver, National Pride for Orlando. It's going to be for Walter. Players are cheering him. Or play, fans are cheering him. Like the turnaround has been quite significant and surprising. There's Nasir Little, autograph for the Trailblazers. Anthony with the Trail. Let's take a look at those Trailblazer numbers, huh? Here are the final uh, Damian Lillard numbers. 40 minutes. Real efficient to 21 from 29 from the field. 9 for 15 from 3, and 9 from 10 from free throws. Throw in 7 rebounds, 8 assists, 3 steals, plus minus of plus 11, 60 points. There's John Morant to 99. Daniel with the Grizz. Big game, Dame. Damian Lillard, that's a guy we need to see more often in the playoffs. Nasir Little, by the way, played 32 minutes, 8 points, 3 rebounds, and assist, plus minus of plus 17, no turnovers. 3 for 6 from field, 2 for 4 from 3. Not bad. Josh Giddy, NBA debut. That goes to OKC. That'll be for Matt Nay. This is a guy, you know, Lakers might want as well. I think he's on Detroit now, but three-point shooter, shooter like him. I guess their their team defense is. Probably good enough. Here's a here's a rookie card, Jalen Green. Nice one for D Lo and the Rockets and for G Lo and the Cavs. Here's an Evan Mobley base card. Maybe we'll find some low number parallels of this guy. So they could use some more defender, maybe some perimeter defenders, but a three-point shooter is what they need. I think their team three-point shooting must be at the bottom half of the league. Yeah, Jalen Green's a lot of fun to watch. Lakers are yeah. So the the top three point shooting team by percentage, for Spurs shooting at a forty point two percent clip. That's really good. Lakers by contrast, 
are shooting at a 35% clip. They're like seven spots from the bottom in three-point shooting. Some teams don't need three-point shooting. Sixers only are only a 34.1% three-point shooting team, second worst in the league. Bucks are shooting at 35%, but, you know, Sixers have some a guy named Joel Embiid, and <laughs> Bucks have a guy named Giannis. I mean, Three-point shooting isn't everything, but I'd like to see Lakers the type of team that could use, that are built to need three-point shooters. They can get one more guy. I can give you like, I don't know, three or four extra three-pointers a night. That'd be nice. All right, next box. Hachimura can kind of shoot threes. I was like, the numbers are a little weird. Spot up threes, right? Catch and shoot threes. Apparently he's at like a 40 plus percent clip. Otherwise he's under league average, low 30s. Uh, Kate Cunningham, that's a rookie card. Not an NBA debut, not a national pride, actual rookie card for Sean Maddock and the Pistons. You wish Casey had a basket. Yeah, I don't know if that's... Is that going to happen? Seems like uh, the NBA really wants a, really wants to put a team back in Seattle and then put a team in Vegas. And I guess move the Pelicans and maybe OKC to the east. And, uh, and that balances everything out. That balances out the conferences. 16, 16 in each. Corey Kispert, one of one. I was like, that's a black peril. That's a one of one. That's Sean, Sean M. Sean Maddock joined the uh, filler, got randomized the Wizards, and ends up with a one of one Corey Kispert. One of one, not bad. Rookie. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. So did, the, did Washington play today? Did they did? I don't want is Corey Kispert getting minutes. He is in a. Uh, they beat the Washington beat the uh, Washington beat the Mavs one twenty seven to one twenty six. Kispert played thirty four minutes, fourteen points, seven rebounds, an assist, a steal. Not bad. That's actually got to have some. Yeah, you know, and maybe without Hachimura, he's probably going to get even more minutes. The KU fandom here is nuts. Hmm. I mean, maybe if they only drafted Kansas players, maybe maybe Kansas City could sustain that team. NBA debut, Kate Cunningham for Detroit for Sean. Scotty Barnes for Daniel and the Raptors. We got Cam Thomas, 20 out of 99 for Brooklyn. Daniel with the Nets. And our autograph is Joe Ingles, Jingles, Jazz, Simon.
<laughs> Mahomes could be the, the dual athlete on an NBA team. Not with that ankle. Oh, hi, John. Oh, Blazers. Sure, Blazers. Sorry, that's going to go to Anthony then. Sorry, I forgot. Portland. Thankfully, the sorting and shipping team does not watch, they do not watch the video to know where cards go. They use that paperwork right there, so it's, and they sort by the logos on the back of the card. So thank, I could say all of these cards go to John Samuelson, and it wouldn't matter. I was just making sure that you guys were paying attention. That's all. I, I knew it was Portland all along. Yeah, Mike Tyler, that's a good question. Who, who do Kansas City fans root for? Gilo says the TV market is thunder. Okay, so that's not a bad team to watch. Yeah, John, what's going on with your Trailblazers? I, like, I... I Damian Lillard is a dude that I want to see in the playoffs. That guy needs to be in prime time in the playoffs. Like, what are we? What are we doing? What's Portland doing out there? Now I know a lot of a lot of people say, yeah, but free agents don't want to go to Portland. Sure, fine. Then I don't know. Then you got to be better in the draft. Right, and then you got to be better in the draft. I mean, why is Damon Lillard got to? He's got to do more recruiting. Something. There he is, right there. I mean, he's pretty amazing. And we got Nicholas Claxton autograph. That's for Daniel and the Nets. Oh, Chauncey wasn't a good choice. There's Deron Sharp. 88 out of 99. Goes to the Nets. That's for Daniel once again. To Durant Sharp. Josh Hart needs to go. Former Laker Josh Hart? How's, he, how's his three-point shooting? I feel like the you know, Lakers don't need him either. I thought he was supposed to be a three-pointer kind of guy. He almost had 30, almost had 40% three-point shooting his first year with the Lakers, but it's really tailed off since then. Oh, he wasn't taking that many threes. He's hitting one of, one of three, 1 1.2 of three, so that makes the numbers look good. But as his three-point chances increase, he stayed at like 1.2. 1.3 around there. Need a big man, supposedly like Nerlens Noel, which we kicked the tires on Marvin Bagley. Mike Tower th throwing shade. NBA debut, Jalen Suggs. National pride, Jalen Green. Oof, they, have, they pass on Durant too, huh? Oh, something's got to happen out there. Damian Lillard needs to be seen in the in the playoffs regularly. Such a fun guy to watch. Steph Curry, thirty out of forty nine. That's jersey number, right? Yeah. Nice. Warriors. Ton Kyun. Kim Ton Kyun with the Warriors. Jersey number. 
NBA debut, Cade Cunningham. <laughs> we were we were just reminiscing about that earlier today, John, about the Bears trading up for Trubisky. Although who's to say that if who's to say that if Mahomes if Mahomes went to the Bears, did they have the coaching staff, the infrastructure to make him as successful as he is now? Probably not. The Chiefs is probably the best place for a quarterback like that. Great coaching, stable coaching. You know, you learn behind Alex Smith, a pro for a season. You can redshirt behind him. You know, they had all these weapons already that he can... Got Travis Kelsey on that team already. I mean... Another box, halfway through half case break. So like, yeah, no infrastructure for the Bears, right? So it's just like, you, it's, you can't say that Mahomes would have had the same success in Chicago. He probably wouldn't have. And then with a quarterback of that talent, I mean, there's a good chance that Mahomes could have developed like bad habits, you know? You know, like, he, Maybe he uses his legs more than he should. Maybe he's making too many crazy passes. And could Andy Reid have done anything with Trubisky? Probably better than what the Bears could have done, to be honest with you. Uh, I have. You were just in Vegas. What were you doing in Vegas, John? Yeah, I've checked Circa. My parents moved there. So they retired. They moved from Southern California, sold the house in the Inland Empire. Downsize a little bit. Now they live in Vegas, so I guess that's where I'm going now for holidays and stuff. Um, but yes, I went there not. Did I go last, when, last winter? No, I didn't go. When did I go? The, recently. Maybe when I was there in the fall. But yeah, I've been there. Uh, yeah, my sister still lives there as well. And um, yeah, I think we checked out Circa. It's pretty awesome, actually. Uh, I'm tempted to like stay there for a couple nights just to get the whole experience, but that sports bar is incredible. And um, and then the other sports bar, not not where the sports book is, but the sports bar, I guess, that's to the left of it, down the way, and that where it's like. 100 yards long or something like that. Like they call it the, the, the longest sports bar in Vegas or the world or something. And it's just a huge wall of TVs. It's killing Hayes in 99. But I want to stay there uh, for a night or two because I want to check out the... I think the pool area is for guests only, like most of the resorts. So... Um, they have, they, apparently, there's like a giant theater type screen out at the pool that are that have like the games on. So I guess like early, like late summer where it's still hot, like late summer NFL games right by the pool, watching that huge projection thing should be kind of awesome. That's a good question. What are the betting odds on uh, on Tom Brady going to Vegas, going to my Raiders? I believe the Raiders should not go after Tom Brady as a Raiders fan, but I feel like they're going to. <laughs> I feel like they're going to get him. And we got an Isaiah Todd rookie auto for Sean and the Wizards. Oh, you almost paid the money just to go out and see the big T? Yeah, I think I think during pool hours, if you're a non-guest, you can pay like, what, 25 bucks or something stupid like that to just go out there. Maybe more if you want to use the pool. There's Donovan Mitchell to 49. And a stained glass Jalen Green. Houston Rockets. Last case we did, we only saw two. So I think they are relatively shorter printed. 
some years or some different sports will often have a lot of stained glass. Maybe baseball. Maybe mosaic baseball has a lot of stained glass. Anyway, there you go. Daniel D'Lo with the Rockets. Bought the Rockets straight up. Congrats. There's Donovan Mitchell, Jazz Edition for Simon to 49. And the same glasses, I like that design this year too. It looks really sharp. You know, Mike Tower saying, yeah, there's a, you know, with a giant remote control. I was thinking about that. Like, who's the guy that, like, can you imagine the people that have to set up all those TVs? It's not just like a bunch of direct TV boxes in the back, or is it? I don't, probably not. How do you change the channels on that? I mean, that, that's probably like that kind of setup. There has to be like a control room. It's not like, it's not like at our shop where we have two different TVs. We have two different direct TV boxes, right? I don't think it's like that. I want to see the, I want to see the back of that, the back office where they control the TVs. All right, two more boxes to go. Are we seeing any interest in those one box breaks? I promise I'd do those if those filled. No, looks like no. So yeah, this might be this might be it for us, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back tomorrow, three o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Eastern. Remember, we don't stream twenty four hours a day, but the website is open twenty four hours a day. Uh, it'd be nice if you buy spots overnight. East Coasters wake up, they'll see spots moving, they'll buy spots in the morning. West Coasters will wake up, they'll buy spots early. Next thing you know, we'll hit the ground running tomorrow. Thursday, my Friday, your Thursday. How does a sports book work? They just legalize in Kansas and haven't been yet. Only betting on apps, I'm a millennial. Uh, what do you mean? Like, how do you place a bet at a sports book? Is that what you're asking? I think that's what you're asking. You did a pool. You did the pool at Circa for the. Golden Knights playoff game, awesome atmosphere. Cannot emphasize those summer through. It was ridiculous hot. No cover on. Hmm. They don't have shade. A lot of those pools have. They, they'll put like they'll put trees in various parts of the property, so there'll be some natural shade that happens. Maybe they're they're forcing you to. Uh, maybe they're forcing you to. By Cabanas. Jerry West. Matt Johnston, Lakers, legend, little logo. Oh, okay, so yeah, how do you actually place a bet? I'll explain that in a second. There's Jalen Suggs, NBA debut. Jalen Green, National Pride. And we got a Josh Giddy Silver. It's gonna go to Matinee and the Thunder. And they can charge more for the for the shade there. Those cabanas there could get pretty expensive. But basically, yeah, Gilo, inside the sports book itself, you, there's there's like there's usually like bank teller kind of kind of spots where a couple people are standing or sitting, and you just go there and you um, you tell them what you want to bet on. Usually, each game will have like a a number attached to it. So, for example. Bengals Chiefs. Bengals will be assigned a number. It'll be number 341, and the Chiefs will be assigned at number 343. And usually you'll be like, hey, I'll take 343 minus one and a half, 20 bucks. And then they'll click, click, click. They'll put, punch it up on the computer and print out a ticket, and they give it to you. But pretty much you tell them what you want to bet on, and they'll. I'll be like, okay, you know, I want Kansas City 
I want to parlay Kansas City with the Eagles or something like that. Money line. Five dollars, and they'll be like, "All right, here you go." And they just print out a little ticket. That's it. Um, it used to be intimidating, Gabe, just because there was just like usually a line of people and they're all like old grizzled pros, you know, and they're all, they're all like, yeah, I'll take 341, 352 spread money line, blah, 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 and the under on 341 and, well, and, and, you know, you know, and they're, they're betting stacks of cash on these games and stuff like that. But now that sports betting has become so widespread, um, and so widespread now that, ooh, nice. Evan Mobley, silver, National Pride silver. That's for you, G-Lo. Cleveland, this is for you. But now there's so many noobs doing it that, you know, the cashiers, the, the, the the ticket makers, the bookmakers will pretty much be a, a lot more forgiving. They want more people through the door, you know what I mean? It's just good customer service. Kawhi Leonard. For the Clippers, that'll be for Daniel. So yeah, I, th I, th I think the uh, sports books are a lot more, a lot nicer. Especially the mainstream ones, like in Vegas, go to like mainstream ones. If you go to like some off strip ones or like, you know, like locals casinos or, you know, less of a public kind of place, yeah, they're kind of, they'll kind of want you to be a little more, a little more sharp. Yeah. And, you know, I think there's, there's some web pages that'll give you some basic, cur like courtesy types, type stuff. Yeah. Have the pics written out. You know, just so you're not looking at your phone and scrolling around and being like, all right, blah, 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 blah. But mostly they don't care. They want your money. And nowadays with sports betting being so, being so easy, ubiquitous, mobile in a lot of states, you know, a lot of sports books... A lot of those shops will want your business, you know what I mean? So so they won't they won't be mean or look down on you if you're like just getting into the betting thing. Once you do it a few times, I mean the mobile is a lot easier, but if I'm in Vegas, sometimes I'll make the point to get the ticket just because it's more of a novelty. And it's a little the mobile is kind of scary because it, it really is so, con it's too convenient. If you're going to like the, you know, if you're going to get a place of bet and you're getting a, and you're getting a paper betting slip and you're forking over like actual cash, it really does make you think like, got to double check, make sure this is exactly the wager I want to do. But yeah, Daniel's right. Yeah, if you want to look like a pro, just go, yeah. The bet amount, the number of the game, and what you want to do with it. Fifty dollars on twenty fifty two over. Especially if there's a line behind you. Jalen Suggs NBA debut, last box. And a Cade Cunningham, red, national pride. Red peril, I think. I think this is a little bit different, right? Yeah. Sean with Detroit. A lot of the sports books have... Uh, they have kiosks too. You know how sometimes you can go to some fast food places and then you can just go to the kiosk instead of the cashier and you can just punch in your order. 
a lot of the a lot of the casinos, at least in Vegas, a lot of sports book there have those now, which makes it pretty pretty convenient. And you still get the you still get the the you still get a little slip printed out, so you still get the the tactileness, the fun of having a betting slip. Here's Cade Cunningham, base card for Sean Maddock and the Pistons. <laughs> yeah, it's a little easy, right? A little too easy. Wait till California legalizes betting someday. There's Bones Highland. That's our last autograph. Denver, Daniel with Denver. If we could, if we can, depending on what the law is, if we can put a kiosk at Jaspies, it could be dangerous. Is Lonzo? It's ninety nine. Wonder if they'll ever do that. Like like a like a lotto kiosk. You can see them in like liquor stores, or something like that. If I get a betting kiosk. You know, if the law says that you can, that, although, I don't know. We do have a lot of kids visiting the shop, so maybe that's not, maybe that's not uh, appropriate for a, a family-friendly hobby shop such as, such as Jaspi Sports Cards and Collectible in Hermosa Beach, California. Now that would be something if Nightbot could take that. <laughs> All right, here is a National Pride Evan Mobley. That is weird that Indiana has legalized sport and California doesn't, yeah. Yeah, that is weird. It's actually, it's actually not weird. There's a there's a very strong Native American casino lobby here in California that does not want to see FanDuel or BetMGM or DraftKings or all those sports books. They don't want to see them open up in California. And if they do, they want them in their they want the sports books in their casinos only, which is not necessarily what DraftKings and FanDuel want. So there's been a multi, multi-billion dollar battle that's being waged for the rights to all of that. Two measures were put on the ballot last fall, two competing measures, and they were both very confusing, and the ads there were attacking each other, confused the majority of casual voters, and both measures failed. It's Contavious Caldwell Pope, 47 out of 49, that closes things out. Should we put a? We thought about getting a lotto machine here, but then we are a family-friendly business. I don't know. Maybe parents don't want to have a lotto machine here in the shop. All right. Thanks, everybody. Great break. Great new release night. I appreciate everybody again. Second half is in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. That might not even require a filler. And there it is. It's got the Jalen Green stained glass and the Corey Kispert rookie one of one. Really nice stuff. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Pick Your Team 3, brand new mosaic. I'll be back at 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock six Eastern, and we'll do this craziness all over again. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. Bye-bye.